So it's the next day, we're back working on the car. I already started stripping down the front end. We're gonna take out the rat support or tackle the oil pan. I'm not sure which one is gonna be the first main project. But for right now, I'm trying to work on this fuel rail. Just install it to see if this will solve my issue for the fuel lines so I could just make the final line and just be happy with the way the oil line is, sorry, the fuel line is routed. Once that's done, like I said, we could either tackle the front or we tackle the oil pan. But the car's already up in the air. Pretty high. And it's pretty warm because right now we're actually having a snowstorm today in New York. So this is coming in very handy, very clutch. Oops. Okay, that came out. Is there? Oh, miss one filled off on this side. Yes, on. So everything's back on, but yeah, it looked like this EGR plate is definitely in the way, so I'm not to move it because it's touching right at the base. So the rail's not even sitting correctly, so I definitely have to take that off. So I'm gonna do that right now and see where we end up. You see the rail is on. Seemed like you made, seemed fine. I got a good amount of clearance, so now I'm just gonna bolt everything up to make sure it sits correctly. And if it does, and I'm just gonna order the other portion from Rusko I was talking about. The base I was talking about, it was hitting the actual cover, which is up here. It was hitting that right here. So with the new replacement one, it should be a lot lower, I'm hoping. So I'm gonna order that up tonight. But so far the injectors are in, more or less where I want it to be. Now I just gotta remember to bring the actual fuel rail tomorrow, sorry, the fuel pressure regulator tomorrow, so I could just bolt it in, make sure it sits fine, which looks like it will, just go straight down, just make my fuel line, so we'll see what happens tomorrow, but right now, this is going to go, nope, can't go there, to make sure everything's going to work correctly, I have to go and take off the valve cover, put on the new one, and basically run the dash 10 lines, to see more or less where they're gonna be. So that's the next thing, I'm just gonna take these off. These are tens. This valve cover was amazing when it was um, brand new. I'll see if I have a picture to post up. This is basically artwork my friend did, and then over the years it just started looking like crap. So yeah, no good. So let me just change this out and see what the new one look like. Inside of the head. Pretty damn clean. That could have been a problem. See my parts of the, um, I used to block up the ports fell in. So, good thing to get off. So that's where, that's how it looks. Yeah, cleans up the bay pretty well. So I'm gonna just test fit the lines I have, but it's clear, honestly, cause it's pretty high up. So it should be over here. So now it's gonna decide there or there. Probably gonna go over there cause over here looks a little bit crowded with everything. Unless I run the line and put the catch can over here. Yeah, that could work. Just put it over here, the intercooler pipe is gonna be going here and it's gonna have to cross over it. So yeah, I might just have it come here, sit here, find a bracket to bolt it up, have it nice and um, neatly tucked out of the way. Hmm. Okay, so I just push the catch can on. Granted, we may have to just, you know, redo the lines and everything, but uh, I don't know. I don't know, I don't know. These are the hard parts, like the little small touches what normally get me 
gets no work done because I don't like how certain things look. Can't come up with a good idea, so then I just sit there and keep going in circles. But more or less, it fits, does what it needs to. I have clearance for the fuel rail, fuel return line at the bottom. It sh will clear the hood. Just gonna put the little block off plate for that. And yeah, but uh, not sure. But we'll figure it out. Maybe once I, sh if I cut and shorten the lines, I basically mount it somewhere over here. I have the line run into it. It may seem a little cleaner to me. But for right now, you know, small progress is better than no progress, right? In an attempt to keep moving, what I'm going to do now is take off the fenders on both sides, bring them down to the basement, and also take off the intake manifold until I get the uh, two pieces that I'm going to order tonight. They serve no purpose. So I can work on getting the axle correct. Like I told you before, the axle is a little bit out. So I'm going to take everything off and show you again. But so far, yeah. Engine made looking pretty decent. So we're back in here again on the car. Got a little update. So these are the parts I was waiting for to finish up the fuel rail. These are the Roscoe EGR port cover. And this is the EGR block off valve. So that should basically wrap up the intake. And here is the new rat support. We already cut everything off from the old one because it was actually messed up from before. So we just installed the new one. So we're just gonna have to, you know, cut the metal out here, make it flush, and then tack everything back together. So let me stop taking credit. I did not do any of this. My mentor actually did this for me. So, I'm pretty happy with that. So more or less this side was fine. Because whoever had it before me did some crappy repair job. So, that's more or less what it looks like. It should be like that. The other side is pretty empty. So, just gonna have to clean everything up, make it flush. And then make you need this side was fine but more or less I think the other side got hit it one time in this life so that's the reason why I didn't really want to focus on fixing the front and this right here is the old one I should have cut it off and basically what it looks like that's where all the Janky repairs was so uh, all that I came out with it. So here we have the intake manifold. I'm just gonna put these fittings on. So here we have the intake manifold. As you can see with the AM fuel rail, it gives me a clear path. Well, the return line, so maybe with a 45 degree, should just go through and be nice and flush. So now I'm just going to put these on. And just so I could have these parts already on this, and I don't have to go searching for them later. And make sure everything clears, bolts down, and yeah, it will look like it'll be good, man. I think we got this intake settled up for once. In order to put this plate on, you have to take these two studs out. So this is just a little tool wrench trick. So basically in this what you do is you just tighten two nuts together, put one on the bottom, tighten them up and then you just loosen the bottom one. And you just pull the whole stud out. So tomorrow we'll start welding this? Yeah. Oh, okay, so we'll make that patch there. Bring this close as possible to tack it now. Mm -hmm. 
Well, then you have to go drop uh, on the coat on the knee, on the metal, looking at it. It's, it's mm-hmm. naked, so getting. Uh, yeah, I know. Um, that's why I brought it here to do all of it. Mm-hmm. I would have tried it, it didn't work out so well. Okay. And that's the stud. So now I just gotta take this nut off and do it, repeat it over on this side. These are the parts I'll be putting on to finish off this Euro R manifold install. And most importantly, the fuel system is done on this intake manifold. Let's see if we get a better picture. everything will be using aftermarket fuel rail using the Roscoe Euro RM adapter the injectors are in here of course using a straight 90 from this side it goes to the fuel filter in the back a few regulators here this guy we I order some more parts I ordered um, some more black off plugs to block this off and the fuel will go from here all the way to the a straight all the way to the return line and this is where the feed will be so more or less just gotta tighten that up and make another bracket to secure it but yeah that's it finally figured out the whole intake system so that's a plus didn't look like we got a lot accomplished to be honest but we did good work so keep up. I'm really trying to get this thing done by maybe next month and drive it. So let's see what happens. Guys. I live inside my own world of make believe.